Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to fix the Windows setup error when installing Windows 8.1 on a Mac and the error is Windows cannot be installed to this disk the selected disk is of the GPT partition style ok guys so you've gone all the way through you've followed the 123MyIT uh, install video which shows you how to install Windows 8.1 on a MacBook Air and you're getting this error coming up uh, Windows cannot be installed to this disk the selected disk is of the GPT partition style okay so there's a few things you can try guys if you click OK on that and just close out of the uh, install and we want to go back to the beginning first of all what we want to do is hold down the uh, alt button as the as the Mac is starting up and you should get a Windows partition and also an EFI, EFI boot partition there. Um, you can try either one of these. You select either one of these, but I would probably recommend if you're having problems, try the EFI boot uh, partition. Um, otherwise, the other tip that you could do is go boot back into your Mac OS drive. Log into it. Go to Go, and then go to Utilities. Go into Disk Utility. Click on your Untitled uh, Disk. So this is the disk that we want to install Windows 8.1 on. Click on Erase. Go down and select XFAT, and then click Erase. All right, and then just click Erase again. So that should then clear anything that's off on that drive. And if we go to the Apple menu, and do a restart. We want to restart again. Hold down your option key again. So just hold down our option key and that should bring up the boot menu. Alright. And we want to go back there now and we want to select the EFI boot. We just want to hit enter, put in the key, and you can get this from the 123MyIT uh, website if you're using the Windows Preview version. Okay, hit next again. We want to accept the terms and agreements and then hit next. Select the untitled. Alright, we want to hit format and then OK. All right, and as you can see, the error message is now gone, and we have our next button down the bottom there. All right, so we hit next, and then it should go to the install screen. Now, one last thing, guys. If you then get a error message here, Windows detected that the EFI system partition was formatted as NTFS. Format the EFI system partition as FAT32 and restart the installation. Um, you can What you can do next is you might have to actually look at trying to reload uh, OS X from scratch and reinstall uh, the bootcamp partition and everything from scratch. So that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.